All right, welcome St. Matthew fans, St. Matthew channel. A little bit of baseball today. Got uh, St. Mark's 4-0 versus Apo 3-0. Number four batter for uh, Mason Keene. Mason Keene at the plate. And Christian Colmery on the mound for St. Mark's. Starts over the ball. Got a lot of chatter coming from Apo. They're undefeated. Another pitch low. Two and a Probably hear the constant batting cage. Young kids out there working on their swing and this batting cages here at St. Mark's. Third pitch. That's ball two. So it's three and oh. St. Mark's starting off. Uh, That's ball four too, starting off with a walk, so. We'll go on down. The runner on first. It's over. It's Ludden playing first. Pitcher. This is uh, John Jones, number one at the plate. Keen is on first. Yet to throw a strike. Comrie with 1-0 count here. That's a strike. 1-1. One -on -one. Carrier. Runs a carrier on deck. Ball goes over. Pulls back the ball. And it's another ball. Two and one. He lays that one down. They get the runner at first. They advance to the second, so runner on second with one out. Yeah, they got a duck on a palm with one out. They said, I believe it's carrier number 12. Coming to the plate. Nobody that ball goes into center field. So he's going to advance the third now as there is nobody there to take the play. So Marks goes time with the uh, runner. We'll be back. All right, so runner on third. One out. It's 0 1 count now. Foul ball, 0 and 2. The pitch. The sure stop, runners will score. Got the runner first, two down. That ball up one more.
Gary able to get the runner home on the Phillies' choice. That's a strike. Curveball. Low on pitch. Fly ball. Oh my god, he misjudged it. It's way over his head. Way over his head. He is going to be going for third. He's in with a triple. He's, I think, he's totally misjudged. Came in on it. Yeah, it was a Came in on it. Ball went right over his head. And that was number 11, Crew Bolden. Crew Bolden with the triple. So you got a runner on third now. Ball's outside. Paul's a shortstop. I think that's Ricky Gannon. And that's the end of the inning. Not before Apple gets one run. So at the end of one inning of play or a half inning of play, it's uh, one nothing. St. Mark's coming to bat. All right, St. Mark's up now. Uh, have to get the lineup number 26. I forgot my rosters. Keen is pitching. Ball's outside. Second pitch. That's a strike. One one. No. In the dirt. Two and one. Rich Gannon, wearing number 26 this year. Two-two pitch to Rich Gannon. Full count. Pitch off of it. Gannett goes down first. St. Mark's that base runner trying to get a runner back and get that run back here at the bottom of the first. They trail at the one to nothing. Now coming is number five. JJ. Niska. Niska. Had a hard time saying. Ooh, that ball almost got away. J.J. Paniska up, throw his over to first, I'll get, get the camera over there next time. <laughs> up there against the lefty. As they have some problems with the base right there, need to get matted down, I think that he's all right now. That's a straight. Oh, one, two. And it's good. Ludman on deck. It's a bouncer up the middle. Steps on first. It's a double play for Apo. Taylor made double play with bouncing up the middle. He's able to step on second, relay to first. So Ludman up. 
two outs now. Curveball high. The strike. Like that little hitch in his wind up. See that little left leg. Like kind of kicks up in the air, kind of hangs there for a second. One on one. We didn't do it that time. Swing this. One two. Pitch, bow down the right field line there. Pitch, it's a high fly ball. He can't get there. Down territory. Another one two pitch coming, eleven. Is that little hang with the foot as he raises his leg, kind of like pulls it up a little bit. At that time, swing and a miss, strike three. Say Marks goes down, no runs. The end of one inning of play. Apo one, say Mark zero. All right, top of the second. That's high. One of the pitch. Another high. Two of. That's a strike, two and one. Pitch. Hot fly ball. Infield. Gannett underneath. He's out. That was Jacob Conover. Conover goes up and down on the fly out. Infield fly. Five, Joseph Davis. That's a curveball high. Two and out. Davis steps out. Joseph Davis at the plate. 2 0 pitch to him. Ripped. That's a base hit. Third baseman. Couldn't get his glove on that one. He ripped it pretty good. Now number 23. Trevor Coleman comes to the plate with a runner on first. Pitch to the plate, high. Matt Cinco behind the plate, I believe, for 
Say Marks. Got a good arm. The 1 0 pitch, he goes back. Pitch. Coleman trying to get out of a jam here. Hey, you got a strike. These guys, they got trouble going with the runner off first. 3 1 count. There's one out. So actually, a dull play to get him out of the inning. He goes over the first. Easily. So he's going to stay at first, but a nice play there by Eric Ludman as he went out and got that for the second out. Now number 14, Keegan Miller. Just a 10th grader. Dave is still on first. Pitch. That's the ball. One oh pitch. Two oh now. Two oh pitch. Three oh. Control problems so far for Comrie. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I well, might be getting more of them. So. 3 0 pitch. Strike. 3 1. Run on first. Two outs. That's the sure stop Gannett. He'll throw to second. He'll get the force. And the inning's over with no damage. So the inning, inning and a half. It's Apo 1. Say Mark 0. All right. First batter, second inning for St. Mark's, Anderson. Number 9, Matt Phillips. Matt Phillips, who we saw went yard. You can see him on the same Matthew channel going back to back. Yeah, over at Frawley last season. First it was Ludman and then it was uh, Matt Phillips going back to back. Phillips, so uh, Keane's got a Phillips with an 0-2 count. Struggle out. Now it's Benjamin Anderson. Please, the catcher. So Cinco is not catching. Or he may be playing a different position. I'm not sure. What you get, what you give me. Okay. She's a sophomore. Hi. 2 0 count. One out. Keen on the mound for 
something Apple. that I got. It's fouled away, 1-1. One, one. Or 2-1, two, one, excuse me. 2-1 two, count. That's good. That's good. It's working. It's Three one. Back control. Sal basically, I think Apo's out there. One run. That's straight two. Three and two. Keen. Doesn't want to lose Anderson here. With three to two. Three and two count. Is that pitch? Strike three. Got to look at. Uh, Keen strikes out the first two batters. This is number ten. This is Matt Zinko, who's also a catcher. So I'm gonna have to see who's actually catching today. <laughs> Make it Zinko. Slow curve, high. One zero. -oh. Zinko trying to get something going with two outs. I watched that show, the broad games, which one? Ryan Wild. It ain't that great. One one. One one pitch. Low. Two one. Two one pitch. I'm going to get one in the dirt. Two, two. The mark's in danger of getting strides side struck out of here as Keenan pitches the two, two pitch. It's outside. Three and two. Payoff pitch coming up. Fly to the infield. Outfield gets her. Hey. Third inning. Third out. So after two full innings of play, at the one, St. Mark zero. First pitch of third inning. Keen is strike. Mason fouls that one off. 0 oh, 2. Keynes, a junior. Pitch two shutout innings so far against St. Marks. That ball's in the dirt. Call just a sophomore. So we have a sophomore and a junior on the mound today. 1 and 2 now. Two. Uh, two, two. Give it to Apple. They got great chatter. So now it's three and two. Comrie in danger losing King because he had him out too. Payoff. High ball four. And he's gonna take it down. He's gonna get a roll. Come up is number one. John Jones, run on first. Goes over first. Pitch to Jones, he lays down the bunt, this goes foul.
0-1 pitch. High, he's going down. He's out. I don't know why he's inside, but he was out anyway. Should have a better shot of that, but just getting used to this new camera and hey, my tripod is a little whack. Yeah, the count is two and one to Jones with one out. Two and two. Two two pitch to Jones. Wind up, pitch. Out of way. Three, two. Break the E. Curveball. Had him stepping out. So they toss it around. Two outs. Should be two outs. There's only one. Should be two. Pitch. Third baseman. High bounce. Over to first. He's safe as he beats it out. High throw. A good bounce. That's a base hit. Number 12, Carrier. Infield hit, beats it out. Number 12, Lorenzo Carrier. Just a 10th grader. Need to keep this inning going with two outs. Me to the plate. Inside. First, it's two outs. It's one one pitch to Bolton. Slow curve outside. Two more. It's a nice day. They could be more hitting. It's a good day for hitting. It's not cold. 2 1 pitch. That's a strike. 2 2. Pitch on that one. See if they do it again. Gives Comrie something to think about. Two and two. Two outs. He goes to the plate. Another foul. Bolden. Grinding it out of the plate. Fouling them off. Two, two. Two outs. Run on first. Looks over first, looks at the plate. 
delivers. High. 3 2. So, runner will be moving on a pitch. Here's the throw. It's a fly ball. Dropped it. Runner scores. So a costly error for St. Mark's is a cost of the run. And there is a runner still on second. It is sunny. So he may have lost it in the sun, I don't know. So two nothing Apo now. Pitch down third base. Flips over to first. That's the inning. But not before Apo gets another run. So we'll go to the bottom of third with Apo leading St. Mark's two to nothing. Coming to the plate, trying to help his own cause, Kristen Comey. Keen on the mound here in the bottom of the third. So far, he hasn't faced much trouble at all. See throw strikes. There's another one. Strike two. Hi. One two pitch. Christian Coleman. That's strike three. Keen is setting them down. Number eight, Nicholas Picharchi. Picharchi. Hi, inside. That ball is laced pretty good. It's going to stay fair. Stays fair. Nice hit. He's going to get into for a double. Christian Comrie with the double down the left field line. Runner on second for St. Mark's. Four. Nick Muzzy up. Runner on second. One oh pitch. Comrie on second for St. Mark's. That's a bay. No, he's going to have to. I think he's safe. Oh, he called him out. The so runner advances the third. They were able to knock that ball down a little bit. And Muzzy couldn't quite beat it out. Brings up the top of the order, Rich Gannett. Two outs, runner on third for St. Mark's. They desperately need a run as they trail 2-0. Keen's pitch gets by. 
Be safe. Two on. So Comrie able to come home on the wild pitch. Pass ball. Starting to hear a little bit of chatter out of the Spartan bench. They get their chatter going. Two to one. Balls in dirt. Ball four. Garrow get out first. J.J. Penisco with Rich Gannon on first. Eric Ludman on deck. That's a strike. J.J. Paniska, Summer Blade, Eric Ludman, two runners on, first and second. And I'm thinking he's looking for a pitch to drive. 2-1. St. Mark's trail on Apo. Here's the pitch. Slow curve is a strike. Took a little bit off of that, maybe change up. 0-1 pitch to Ludman. I believe struck out in the first inning. First and second, the pitch. Another slow. And he went around. And that's the end of the game. get one on the pass ball. St. Mark's now 2-1. to one. Let's go to top of the fourth. Apo leading. First batter of the fourth inning, swing and a miss. Top of the fourth, 2-1, Apo leading. That's 1-1. One one. Two and one. Two one count. The pitch. Bang the bow. Jacob Cunnerer. The two two count to Cunnerer. Nobody out. Pitch. Outside three two. Comrie once in danger of putting the first batter on but they just scored a run. Here's the pitch. Off the road he does. Yeah. 
bad boy right now. The first. Ball's outside. We got right on first. One out count. That's just no, it isn't. Two zero. All right, so it's two out. We're on the bottom of the fourth. The top of the fourth, excuse me, top of the fourth. Got a swing, got a ball. Two one count. We're on first. Two one pitch. Run off. That's a strike. Two two. Nice pitch by Christian Coleman. Full count. Right. Nobody out. Full count. Runner on first. The pitch. Down the third baseline. He stabs it, but it's just to it'll stop him from advancing any further. It's going to be first and second. But nobody out. First and second, nobody out. Well, it looked like everybody had a nice play. Trevor Coleman to play number 23. Mm -hmm. They look to lay down the bun. They do. Yeah. The play is at first. Second and third. One out. Second and third. One out. Infield in for St. Mark's. 14. Five. Keegan Miller. Keegan Miller at the plate. Fouls it away. One one count. I agree with the gentleman just said. He only need a strikeout right here. It would be big. Runners at second and third. Pitch. That is a rip. Probably gonna bring him to and see if there's a play at the play. Two run score and a double by Keegan Miller. Now four to one. Pitcher throws one foul. Mason Keene, 0 1 count now. Really one out. Run on second. Apo leading 4 to 1. Oh, yeah! Let's go, Mason! 
Pretty good. Uh, should be able to get out. Need, they drop there. They drop it. Cannot pick it up in the outfield. And it is first and third. And St. Mark's has defensive problems. Did that fall? Yeah, fine. Nobody hit it? No, I scored it. Yeah, it looks like nobody was able to get to that ball. Yeah. They say a blooper. So now it's first and third. Still only one out. score another one because they threw the second they get the out it's two outs but they let it run score makes it five to one hit pretty good. He's able to get back there and get that. So that's the end of the inning, but at the end of three and a half innings. That though now leads St. Mark's five to nothing. At St. Mark's top of the bottom of the fourth inning. Trailing five to one. Benjamin Anderson. Gets by. He's going to go to third without a throw. Pitch. That's a strike. Two one. 
We're on third, nobody out. Apple with a four run lead. Over number one, St. Mark's. Well, a change up got him. Two and two. Two two pitch. High. Full count. Hell pitch. Strike three. Mason King with another strikeout, helping his cause. Matt Senko stepping to the plate. St. Mark's had a couple good hits against King. Calmer with that double. Come on, guys, it's fixed. That's popped up. Catches it. Can't advance. Two outs. Christian Comrie, who I said hit him hard before. Like to get a single here, probably. As he swings and misses. It's two outs. Comey steps out. Being stranded, 0 and 2. High. 2 1. Pitch. He pokes at it. But I know enough for him to bring that in. The St. Mark's fails to score. And the four innings to play. Apple 5. One. So the carrier is going to lead it off. Wrap up. Top of foot. Rich Gannett now on the mound for St. Mark's. Hi, Kurt. Carrier at the plate. It's a ball two. Two and Probably getting up there too. 3 0 pitch. That's a strike. 3 1. I do. Taking all ways, he's uh, run down there and take his base, but straight two, full count. Uh, 
go. He gets it on the right field line. Nice catch. One down. Team marks number three made that catch. Screw bold enough. up slow curve Adam fool got it now 0 and 2 one out runner on first in bold same pitch strike three as he puts it down Two outs. Points on the board. Pitch outside. Now it's a strike. <laughs> Number eight, Jacob Conover up. Top of the fifth inning with Apple leading five to five to one. Conover at the plate. One two. Pitch. Almost took the head of his third base coach off there. <laughs>
One two pitch. Balls high. Two two. Two two. Two outs. Run on first. Pitch. Down to third. It's a high bouncer. Gets him at second. That's the end of the inning. So after four and a half innings to play, it's Apo. Five. St. Mark's. One. Okay. Bottom of fifth. St. Mark's in need of a rally. The trail. Apo by five, four runs, five to one. That ball's low. Keen's still on the mound. For Apo. Pitched a good game. The ball's high. Number eight for St. Mark's. Straight. Sarchik. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. I'll take it. 2-2 yeah. to Pisarchik. Oh, three pulls it in. One down. Fly out to second base. Muzzy up, swings and misses. And St. Mark's top of the order, so Muzzy, Muzzy can get on. You got the top of the order coming up. St. Mark's in need of a rally here in the fifth. That ball hit his head. I thought it hit his back for a second, but hit his head, hit his helmet, so he goes down for it. O2 count. O2 count. Run on first. Pitch. Another high pop. Able to pull it in and he's still safe at first. So you got to run at first. With, uh, JJ Kaczynska coming up. Vaniska. One-o pitch. 
Ball gets by. Muzzy's going to go second. But he may even go third. He is going third. There'll be no throw. Now run on third with two outs. Well, that's all open out there. Behind the first base, there's no. Until it gets to the. It has to get out all the way out. Run. Yeah. Or the little pass. Right, and it didn't. He didn't get to add a play, so he, he got both bases. J.J. Paniska drives in a run, and that single, it's now 5-2. to two. With Eric Ludman at the plate. That's it, St. Mark's looking for a two-out rally as they bring one home. Eric Ludman at the plate. JJ Penis going first. Swing and foul ball. Two now to Ludman. O two pitch. Logan steps out. Pitch. Nice. It's going to fall. Ludman with a hit. First and second for St. Mark's with two outs. Phillips coming to play. Good second for Phillips. Has the ability to tie this up with one swing. Saw him hit one out last year, like I said earlier. Pitch. A little out in front of it. and second. Matt Phillips at the plate. The pitch. Oh, the slow stuff makes it two and one. High, another second baseman. He got all three that inning. So that's the end. After five innings, 5-2. Five Apo leading St. Mark's. All right, top of the sixth.
Five two. Apple leading St. Mark's. That ball ripped right to the third baseman and pulled it right in. So one down. JJ Beniska at third. So far, St. Mark's has on Apo. 1 1 count, one out, nobody on. Pitch, another foul back, out of play. Two pitch. Nice breaking ball by Gannon, but he doesn't go for it. Two and one, two and two, I believe. One and two, one and two. Outfield having problems today. One out, runner on first now. Mason Keene, the pitcher, has held St. Mark's to two runs through five innings. St. Mark's wants to get that third out and get in here and get some more runs as they left two on. This fifth inning. Ball's high. 2 0 count.
That's a strike. Two and one. Two one pitch, two outs, run off first. Pitch to Keen. Strike two. Two and two. With the runner on second. The runner on first with two outs. He goes over to first, he gets back. Contact. Could be trouble for St. Mark's. 3 2 pitch. In the dirt, ball four. First and second, two outs. John Jones steps the plate. Two now. Pitch. Break three. So, able to get out of that without any damage. Get to five and a half. Tap of five. St. Mark's two. Jacob Meisel, coming to the plate. This is the first time he's batted today. I think he is. He's pinch hitting. An 0-2 count now. Bottom of the sixth. St. Mark's trailing. Strike three. Bolton comes in and strikes out the first batter. Matt Sinko, I believe. Matt Sinko comes to play for St. Mark's. One down. Cloud back. Right at us. <laughs> oh, one pitch. That's hit hard to the shortstop. He's over at first. He's safe. Two outs. Second big hit of the day. Yeah. 
get a double down the left field line. So two outs. St. Mark's really need a two-out rally here in the bottom of the sixth. Pisarczyk out, I believe. Nicholas Pisarczyk. Bowden tries to look him back at second. Pitch. In the dirt. One more. Is it navy or black? Oh, I'm back. Alright, up. Steps off. Well, I'm going to go, so it's All right. Okay. But, uh, catch base, yeah. I think January. January. Oh, he swung it. Like what that? Out of the strike zone, they go to first, and that's the end of the inning. After six full innings of play, Apple five, St. Mark's two. Top of the seventh for Apple, leading five two over St. Mark's. Carrier at the plate, Gannett on the mound for St. Mark's. Pitch. The shortstop. And then it gets by, so it's going to be a error. And a run to second on the throw. Again, it's the normal shortstop is Christian Comrie. And third there, he's the one who started the game at pitcher. So Apple was another base runner. Nobody out. Bolton, who came in to pitch, he's now batting. Pitch. I fly to second baseman and no, first baseman. Ludman's got it, one down. St. Mark's definitely want to get out of this inning without any further damage. They already have a three-run deficit that they have to overcome. They only have three outs to do. Score in the top of seven. A good game played by Apple all day. Uh, Keen started off, he was in, in control, getting Spartans out. Whereas on the other side, you had Comrie who had a little bit of control problem. And then um, Apple was able to come up with a big inning. Those three runs or four runs. They went from one out. That ball close. Nobody's there.
Right on second. One out. Pitch outside. One pitch, run on second. He got back. He got back. We had to play on that time. There was somebody there. I forgot to move the camera because I'm looking at who's at the plate. pitch. Got him out in front. Got him to pop up. Get it takes it. Ludman comes <laughs> roaring by. Runner stays at second. Two down. Let's see who's coming at the plate. Pitch. Outside. Two outs. Run on second. Thought that was Conover up before, but he's up now. Not sure who fouled out there. Two count, two outs. <laughs> One, two pitch. Run on second, two outs. Top of the seventh. St. Mark's looking for a bomb of the seventh rally. Got the pull this one out and it's five to two. Here's the pitch. Got him a strike out. That's the end of this one. St. Mark's trailing by three. Going to the bottom of the seventh as it is uh, five to two. Happily, the St. Mark's after six and a half. Bottom of the seventh. 
leading off for St. Mark's, Nicholas Muzzle. That's a strike. One out. St. Mark's trailing five to two, needing a big seventh inning rally to try to get this strike. Try to take this game away from Appa, but Appa has played a good game. Strike three as he swings at one out of the strike sound. High and away, so now it's up to the top of the order. Rich Cannon. Then J.J. Paniska. And possibly Eric Lutton. Strike. Bolden looks to be humming. He wants to take this one home. Make St. Mark's 4 and 1. Make Apo 4 and 0. Oh. Oh, 0 1, 1 out. Spartans only with 2 outs left. The ball's in the dirt. 1 1. Pitch. That's a strike. One, two. Looked like a curve. Two. Oh, strike three. Oh, I did not realize that. So two down. Goes up to Penisca. JJ. Two down. Five, two. That was a strike. The Bolden has come in. Done a great job for Apple. Bolden has come in. The Keen pitched a good game, good five innings. That's a strike. One and two. Keen really pitched a nice, strong five innings, and Bolden has come in so far. He's been really basically untouchable. That ball goes to the end of the game. So Apple wins it. Final from St. Mark's. Apo now 4 0 undefeated. St. Mark's 4 1 as they go down 5 2. Look, this St. Mark's, we just lost here, but uh, Billy Sullivan, we can see uh, our former ace here. You can see in the arm here. What's the story there, DeBill? Um, so. Got Tommy John surgery done two weeks okay. ago. Um, I actually just got on my cast. They put me in his robot arm now, but um, hurt in the fall. Um, decided to rehab it. Felt good, so I got into the season. Two games in, wasn't feeling right. Went back to the doctors. They told me I got to get Tommy John. So we're talking about uh, 10 to 12 months? Yes, 10 to 12 months. So and we, we're also told we don't lose any velocity off of that. Uh, and yeah, they say 95% come back stronger, so my goal is to be back on the mound about this time next year. Okay, we want to see you back as strong. Exactly. Is it seeing the Spar Spartans went down today? Yes. 5-2 to a tough team. Yep. And uh, what, well, you only saw the last three innings? Yes, but that so was a good team. What I saw, so their pitching looks well. Spartans will be back, I'm not worried about it. All they got to do is catch some fly yeah, balls, Billy. We it. dropped a lot of fly balls today. Yes. Better defense, and if they're hitting the ball, they'll be fine, they'll come back. Well, thanks for talking with me, Bill. Yep, no problem. All right.